so so weird. Me, me man. Me put stick in hole. This hole nice better than wood hole and rock hole. Woman hole best hole. Nani? Dynamite! Dynamite! Because I think I think mono not to be controversial, but monogamy is a social construct. Yeah. Which isn't bad. It's know you know it, it. What's controversial about that? It's a social construct. Is it because it's in the Bible as well? Is that why you said that? It works for our society now. It's very... Like, I just look at the... <laughs> I'm not judging the room, but I just look at the men in the room and I just do not see... Uh, if Without a society, societal construct, a social construct, we would do what we want. We would do as we please. We, we brought right back down to our exactly. biology. No, because you would still have your culture. Even wild animals have social have social norms and social construct. There's an order to who eats. There's an order to who mates. There's an order to who runs shit. So this whole we will go back to our biology. Our biology dictates we evolve, so we would just continuously evolve, you idiot. And this is what happens when a bunch of people who don't know anything use words they don't understand. And terminologies and try and put those instances on you. Like, I don't listen to my mic and listen to their mic. They have all this padding around them. For what? It's an aesthetic at this point. Because you don't really need it. But they know that's the aesthetic. And they want to seem like they're talking about something important, but not saying a damn thing. Exactly. exactly. No, the twenty percent will get the eighty percent. Mm -hmm. So we because we have to stay with one woman, we'll always woman, get a percentage. Uh, the more it, 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 no, no, because we're not because we have to stay with one woman in mm -hmm. in the West. Mm -hmm. It enables more men to have a woman. If mm -hmm. if they had p polygamy, yeah. the best men would get the best wives. But the, uh, I mean, no. No. I mean, I do, I, I do think, I do. No. What if the best men and best women both live on opposite sides of the country? Like this is such a dumb. And I can poke holes in these ideas without even thinking. I think men are biologically predispositioned to cheat, but I also think you... There's no facts to back that up. Once again, if you're talking about biology, we are the same species. So that means women would have the same equal amount of... Op they do have the same and equal opportunity to cheat. You're talking about socially... And if you're going to use that, where's your facts? She doesn't have any facts to back up this bullshit. Once again, she's just using big words or terminologies to make it seem like she knows what she's saying. But she ain't saying a damn thing. You can make choices to not put yourself in those Absolutely. situations. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Um, I so I, I, kind of, I kind of understand what both of you guys are saying. Mm. Because on one hand, I really do think... A lot of guys, if it's thrown at them, are going to have a really hard time turning it down. And there's going to be a very, like, like Tiger Woods, I think of, right? He, he Okay, switch it. Oh, yeah, of course, you can use a famous person. Guys, but you're not Tiger Woods, guys. And guys, women aren't throwing shit at you. Even as a dude who, who dates successfully, and I have enough women to last me. I, I, I've been spoiled I would turn and turning down. Oh, what up, Dandy? <laughs> I, like I would turn down unnecessary. Like, like it's crazy to me. Like people like think they live in this world, but as a person who played professional sports and turned down women's sex, it's not that hard. Furthermore, if you put changed it over and made it a woman who was extremely famous, like Rihanna, who has dick probably thrown at her every goddamn day in her DMs. It's not hard to believe that these two parallels exist. So when you're making these parallels, these weird, very weird parallels about men and women and suggesting because of men's biology, something is true, but not true for women. And it's a biological feature they also have, which is sex drive. It's weird. It's weird to make a, a, an argument about sex drive when they both have it. And also when there's no grounds for what you're saying. He had that whole, <laughs> he had like Facebook groups full of women, that right? And then like that man was wildin'. But, but like, 
most guys don't have a, a bus full of Brazilian models waiting yeah. for them at the yeah. end of a golf course. I think most Andy men couldn't you turn that me. down. But the at the same time, like my dad never cheated on my mom, right? And he's in the top half a percent of earners. But oh, an exception to the rule, huh? Your dad. Your dad is a top earner. He's a highly desired man, but he never cheated. Isn't it strange how she's able to differentiate herself from her? From you guys? Because she just finished telling us all men would crumble if they had puss thrown at them 24-7. Everybody except for her dad. Do you not see the irony of this situation? How she can't put herself in the same category? Because she's a pick-me. She believes she's the rule, not the... She believes she's the rule, not the standard. The exception, not the standard. Right? She doesn't believe... She should have to fall into it. And remember, same woman who was fat shaming women. This lady, fat shaming women. With pictures like this on the internet. She doesn't believe the cognitive dissonance in this, in this woman right here is maddening. But he just doesn't drink and doesn't put himself in those situations. Mm -hmm. So I, no, I, well, very good at it. I don't think just because you're biologically predisposed to, to cheat mm -hmm. or to be... Polygamous. Polygamous. I don't. I don't think that means you need to act on it. Definitely what I would not. say, as an example, is if. <laughs> it, and you know what? I'll yield to that. Up front, up front, women invest a lot more emotional. Men, very short term, but as the relationship extends, the men invest a lot more time because you best believe a girl you've been dating long enough. If someone's fucking Will Smith slapped Chris Rock on national TV for a, a woman that said she didn't even she she had an entanglement with another dude on TV. Right. Like men become very when men have had wars for women. So I totally get it. But uh, but it's not to say that one doesn't do it and the other one just has no no version of it it's it's men are biologically predispositioned once again they're using the term biologically anything and they have no stats to back this up they are literally no one in this room is a scientist guaranteed no one no one in this room is a psychologist no one in this room has a degree that i would eat saying these stats none of i can tell no, and the fact that none of them push back i know none of them are our class <laughs> have any science background Oh, no, not for a night, but, like, I'm saying for, like, motherfucking your wife, you, some, like, a woman that you are committed to, you will go to, motherfuckers, based on, based on the Western movies, shit, we'll kill a whole entire army for one woman. How many, how many times has James Bond broken into a, a, a secret base and killed everyone in the base to save one woman? Is literally part of our culture dynamic. ...to violence, far more than women, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Now, if a man started to bat the shit out of somebody in the street, what's the first thing we'd all say? Why couldn't you control yourself? Yeah. Right, so I think you can also apply it to this. I think and this is going to piss a lot of men off, I'm I sorry, but the, the truth of the matter is, yes, I will agree, you are biologically predispositioned to, to have more than one woman or seek out more than one woman. Mm -hmm. Spread your seed, so to call it, right? Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean you need to act on it. And I think as a man, you can truly be so happy. This per this is probably the first logical statement I've heard all like in the whole show. And we're fucking five minutes into it, and there's still five more minutes of this shit. I don't know if I can handle this. I think men can't resist the, the their crumble <laughs> if it will ruin them. No, you're absolutely right. And even they then they're gonna be get bored with the shallow most likely oh absolutely the the women who like any woman i've ever slept with on the first night i know we're never going anywhere because like it's a little bit about the chase right you gotta at least make me wait one fucking day if i could bag you in the first night i immediately think yo if i bag a chick on the first night i immediately think you're not as cute or bad as i thought you originally were like damn anybody could do this shit to you
If you let my basic ass do it, that means anybody could do it. Fucking Arthur could do that shit to you. Like, fucking, what? Nah. I, I'm not Doug or Tommy Pickles or any of those motherfuckers. I'm not going. Like, there has to be something more. There has to be substance. That's what this conversation is lacking. They're using the just bare bones fa- like situation of what's matter. Arthur from uh, the, the the little mole rat thing. <laughs> the Arthur from the cartoon. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. But it's just weird to me that they, like, the, n- people aren't having this type of con. No no normal human being is ever having this conversation in real life. This is only a podcast conversation. Yo, I'm tripping. <laughs> Be long term yeah. without acting on it. I think you can. I don't think so. Can I just say one but thing? It, it, like, I don't think so. Friends. It's a bit controversial. Go ahead. Sorry. Like, it's men are more loyal to their friends than they are to their women sometimes. I don't think so. <laughs> Men are more loyal to, and you know what? It makes sense that she would say that as she's the only person that doesn't have a ring on her finger. I've never given my friends a ring to represent my love for them. Um, Every time my friends are playing video games with me and they say they gotta go, they say they gotta go be with their wife. They don't kick the dust. They're like, hey, yo, wife's calling me. I gotta go, guys. And none of us are like, oh, man, you're pussyfoot. No. The wife, the person with the ring the first time I've ever seen you cry without doing push-ups, I've seen all of my best friends cry, bleed, sweat, cheers, diarrhea, name it. I've seen them do it. But to see them openly have emotions and frolic around and be unguarded, that's something only a woman could derive from them. They are fucking tripping. She is tripping, tripping. Men, oh, men will not about. sleep with a friend if a, if men... Will say I'm not sleeping with a girl that's been with their friend or that's a friend's yeah. ex. That's not loyalty yeah, to my the, friend. Yeah, no, but wait, yeah, but they'll sleep around behind the woman they're supposed to love more than facts. anything's back. Like, no, no, no. The reason why I don't sleep with my friends with the, the girl that's been with my friend. And this is also another cap because if if Dandy sleeps with a girl that I like, and and I'm like, yo, Dandy, I was feeling that girl, and Dandy gives me the thumbs up. I'm good to go. But guess what? Even if Dandy doesn't give me the thumbs up, I'm still going to go. Because Dandy don't give a damn. He's not worried about her no more. And he's not going to be mad at me for double dipping. That way we can become Indian brothers. (laughs) He's not a good wingman. I don't even know what you were spamming. Oh, it's no what it's probably because yeah, Dandy on this channel, you don't have any of those emblems. I gotta get you those emblems. Cause people with the emblems from my channel, they don't get harassed as much. It's because I don't want like I, I don't now want I'm curious to know what No, I'm not wrote. saying the woman that slept around. I'm Let's saying if you your wrote. friend was in a relationship with a girl or like someone your friend not even a relationship, say your friend had fancied a girl, had liked Thumbs a girl up. and oh. had told you, <laughs> you probably wouldn't go there. Because of your friend. But what I'm saying to you is, you will go behind, you will sleep out of your marital bed. Yeah. Like, but that's not, that's because, not because... Because men show loyalty to women in different ways. Yeah. Yep. And it's so, not, so them, it's protection and provisioning. That's like, that's how they... This is, okay. Show loyalty. Okay. And so. No, you show, you don't show, I don't show loyalty to a woman I like by protecting her and guiding her. I, I do that to everyone I like. If I like you, I'm going to protect you and, and provide for you the best I can. For loyalty, I just simply don't cheat on you. But you see how by her admitting that and acknowledging that the best way to show loyalty to someone is probably just not cheating on them. It defeats the whole purpose of this argument, which is men. It's okay for men to cheat because cheating is not a problem. And you see how this fallacy continues to build on itself. It's honestly the weakest forms of argument because all you have to do is repeat what she says and you can beat her. The best way to show loyalty is through protection and safety. What about not cheating? Honestly, if my girl, honestly, if a girl is my friend and isn't romantically interested in me, I just want her to be happy. I'm going to do slash whatever. 
I can to help her. Exactly. And that's a great point. This argument also falls apart if your friend is a woman. This, the, the, these, these type of red pill ass people are hoping that you just don't have any real friends. They're hoping that you do. have never heard of my show. They're hoping you've never talked to anybody who's ever really had sex and meaningful relationships. Because the moment you have a real conversation with somebody about these intimate things, this delusion goes away. You're protecting. They're not protecting. By sleep, it's sleeping about. That's not very good. No, 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 no. It's not no. to do with but not they, it's, it's with resources, them. right? They're they're not perfect. It's and protection. So if someone breaks mm -hmm. into your house, who who's expected to go, go fight the robber or whatever it is? That's we both are. The fuck? What? I'm six five, three hundred pounds. I got a gun in the back and everything. And you best believe, even if I told her hard headed ass to stay back and let me handle this. If she really cares, she going to be, she going to want to know. She going to want to be there. Ain't no situation. This is, and once again, the goalpost move. Because it was, first of all, it was about providing. And first it was about safety. Now we're talking about if a person broke into the house, who's going up there to fight? Bitch, we both are. Because if you're, <laughs> two is better than one. And if my ass goes down, you're definitely screwed. Or at least I'm going to give you enough time to get the fuck up out of there. This is such a weird thing. People with this attitude scare me because they're the kind of people who have convinced themselves that men are so bad that they stay in horrific, toxic relationships for. Oh, yes, you're absolutely right. Absolutely right. Like the reason why I'm not breaking up with this guy that beats me is because all my CDs are in his car and, you know. It's going to be a long time before I can get all my CDs out of the car. Like, yo. Protection. But if with their friends, like, they don't get their protection and provisioning. Yeah, you're judging us by the woman's measuring stick. Yeah, I, I, so I, don't, I don't think that means men are more loyal to their friends than their partners. We, as men, it's we just, provide a different set of values for you. So, though a man may cheat, the values that he is providing to you, again, it all goes back to the way we are on a biological level. This isn't agreed upon by most people <laughs> from what I've seen. Yeah. Can I, can all I, men are the bad. The science so is very clear that man. we are all still, He's our brains bad. are still ancient. That's just the truth of that. So if our brains are still ancient, what, what does that list? Just let's get it with context by most people from what I've seen. Yeah. Can I, can I but, just... but the science is very clear that we are all still, like our brains are still ancient. That's just no. Your brain is just ancient. You have the smoothest baby back bum ass brain. I'm pretty sure I could fucking bowl your brain down an aisle and get a strike with that statement. And once again, he prefaced it by saying science backs this up. There's nothing. Evo Do you not know what evolution is? Do you believe that an, a, an, uh, a prehistoric man is on par with men today? <laughs> my God. <laughs> it's, yes. it's the truth of matter. So if you're going to act out of impulse, that's a biological impulse, and your brain, the decisions that you make, the way you think is actually still very primal. So for a man to look at another woman and cheat, now I'm not saying he has to do it, yeah. but you can't argue a man for the impulse, for the lust. And I would even go as far as to say acting on it. However, the values that he provides you are physical security, mm -hmm. Now in modern day times, financial, financial security, security, okay, and ultimately he can go out and f finance and physical security. Women, I don't know if these men know this or not, but women can work and women can buy guns. Like, so what does a woman need a man for? What does a woman need a man for? Love, affection, union, a bond, you know, those biologi biological feelings. 
their argument falls apart immediately. Prefrontal cortex. <laughs> Fend for himself and get all of the resources needed. Okay. I think ultimately women care more about those traits. Those. Uh, it's funny how a man is assuming what a woman thinks when there is literally qualities that a man can provide. If he is to fuck up and accidentally sleep with a woman, there. but he can still provide all of those things for you, I think. And it, I think it also does depend on age. Right, so if you're younger, you're far more likely to go, I've got no real investment in this man, yeah. fine, I can move on. But I've, I can see many situations in my life, and we probably all can, where the man, so she's invested in a man to such that she's now got a house and a mortgage. She's now got many, many kids. Yeah. They are married. One slip up, I think if women are deep down honest with themselves, they'll admit that that one slip up, I don't think it does anything. Maybe I don't think... A man suggesting... Me cheating on women because I've given you a house and a few kids is grounds for me cheating. So, so weird. Me. Me, man. Me put stick in hole. This hole nice better than wood hole and rock hole. Woman hole. Best hole. I hate everything about I can. I can't finish this show. I, mean, I don't take anything. I'm, I can't do this anymore. Sorry, guys. I'm tired.